Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you top 5 AI training jobs for beginners that are hiring remotely. Before we start, hurry up and check out these software just under this video. Let's get started. So, AI systems like ChatGPT or image recognition tools are only good as the data and feedback they receive. So, behind the scenes, real people are reading answers, labeling content, and helping AI learn. And how to think more like a human. So the best part here, you don't need a computer science degree to do this. So many companies are hiring beginners worldwide to work remotely. So what are the recommended platforms out there? So first is we have Stellar AI. Now, if you're completely new here, Stellar is often the easiest and most transparent platform to start with. So they keep things beginner friendly here by paying you even for training. Now, in fact, you can earn around like $40 just for passing the assessment test here, which doubles as you uh, as your onboarding. Now, once you're in, the typical task involves like ranking chatbot responses, picking which answer sounds more natural, or helping the EA refine its search process. Now, think of it like being a proofreader or reviewer for an AI assistant. They guide you through every step with clear instructions, so you're never left unsure of what to do. So, pay is capped at around like $25 per hour, which is very fair for entry-level work in this space. So, you don't need prior experience as well, and many workers like Stellar because it avoids over-promising, so you know exactly what to expect before you begin. Now, next is we have Outlayer. Now, Outlayer here often paired with remote tasks, so if you're not aware yet, uh, Outlayer here, uh, Outlayer was remote task. So, yeah, so it's one of the larger and more established platforms in the industry. Now, the work is more varied here, which makes it attractive if you get bored doing the same task over and over. Now, some days you might review AI-generated uh, text to decide which response makes the most sense and other times you could label objects in photos, check audio transcripts, or even like, annotate short video clips. The tasks range from quick simple ones to more detailed projects that pay better. So pay rates depend on your skill level and project type. So for example, image and video annotation usually pays more than the simple text ratings. So payments go out via PayPal or other supported methods. And since Outlayer here often has hundreds of active job listings, it's a good choice if you want to uh, have a steady work instead of waiting around for a task. Now next is we have Mindrift. Now, MindRift is another strong option here, especially if you're looking for flexibility in the kind of projects you take. So beginners can handle basic jobs like rating AI, answering, or ranking outputs. The platform is also cater to, uh, cater to, uh, caters to people with expertise in writing, editing, law, or other professional fields here. So why does that matter? Well, because specialized knowledge pays more. Now, if you're a writer, you might be asked to refine AI written content. So if you're a lawyer, you might review AI legal summaries. But even if you don't have expertise, MindRiff makes it easy to contribute by giving clear project guidelines and offering support that when needed. Now, rates vary based on both your country and your skill set. So someone in the US or Europe might earn higher hourly pay compared to someone elsewhere. But the important part is the mind rift has room to grow with you. So beginners can start small as you gain experience to or prove your ability here. Now you'll be eligible for better paying projects. And next is we have Toloka. So Toloka has been around longer than many newer players in the space. So it's also known for its microtask model. Instead of committing a big or committing to big projects here, you log in, pick up short jobs, and just they just take a few minutes. So a lot. Of the work involves data labeling, so things like marketing, whether a search result is useful, identifying objects in a photo, or tagging whether a piece of content matches a given description. Now, it's not glamorous here, but it's essential for training AI and see and understand the world better. Now, the upside of Toloka is flexibility. Now, you can work whenever you want and in even in short bursts. Now, the downside here is the pay varies heavily depending on where you live and the current demand for workers. So some users uh, treat the local as a way to make side income while multitasking like during a commute or while watching TV rather than a full-time job. Now still, it's trusted and long tr stand uh, standing platform here. A solid choice if you want something you can casually dip into without over committing. And next or finally, we have Aligner. 
So finally, a liner here. So this platform gets attention because of its bold claims. Sometimes advertising pay up to $150 per hour. In reality, most tasks won't make or won't come close to that number. Typically, beginner jobs pay in around like $15 to $25 per hour range, but high rates are reserved for very specialized tasks. Now, what you'll actually uh, be doing here is similar to other job, uh, others here, ranking AI generated responses, rewriting text to make it more natural, or labeling data sets like audio, video, or images. It's not hard, but it does require consistency and ad attention to detail. Now, Aligner is best suited for those who want to experiment and see if they can land higher paying projects over time. Now, if you go in expecting quick riches, you'll likely be disappointed here, but if you treat it as one of the several income streams here, it can be decent uh, supplement alongside platforms like Stellar or Outlier. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.